Hello everyone. I'm Ha Sung Kim of San Diego Padres. Nice to meet you all. 최고의 조건과 어, 최고의 선수들로 구성된 어, 파드레스에 합류하게 돼서 정말 진심으로 네, 기쁘게 생각하고 영광스럽게 생각하고 싶고. It's truly my honor to join the San Diego Padres, uh, the Major League's best baseball team with tremendous firepower and excellent pitching. Uh, many Machado, uh, Fernando Tatis Jr., Eric Osma, Jake Cronenos, and uh, all the other players who are in the same way. I'm very excited to be part of a team with such great talents as Manny Machado, Fernando Tatis, Jake Cronenworth, and Eric Cosmer. Uh, as a new addition to the team, I too will grow as a player, as well as contributing significantly to the team. Uh, 또이 자리를 비롯해서 어, 파드레스라는 최고의 팀을 만들어 주신 구단주님과 어, 저를 영입하기 위해서 어, 엄청난 적극성과 어, 진심을 보여주신 어, 단장님 그리고 저를 메이저리그에서 플레이할 수 있게 도와주실 어, 감독님 음, 그리고 코칭 스텝 그리고 저를 정말 따뜻한 마음으로 환영해 주신 어, 파드레스 구단 관계자 여러분들과 어, 팬들에게 어, 진심으로 감사를 드리고 I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the ownership of the Padres for building such a wonderful ball club. Uh, I'd like to thank AJ Preller for take, taking me into this team. I'd like to thank Jace Tingler, who will guide me through my major league, uh, my first year in the major league. And lastly, but not least, uh, I'd like to thank all the members of San Diego Padres organization for welcoming me to this great ball club. Thank you. 정말 2021년도는 파드레스의 엄청난 해가 될 거라고 생각하고 있고 어, 정말 우승을 어, 노리고 있는 팀에 어, 정말 합류하게 돼서 정말 기쁘게 생각하고 그리고 파드레스는 또 엄청난 팬덤을 가지고 있다고 알고 있는데 어, 그것 또한 정말 엄청나게 기대가 되고 어, 설레는 것 같습니다. Uh, 2021 will be an amazing year for the Padres and myself. Uh, I can't wait till the season starts. And I think uh, the fans are expecting uh, uh, great results, and I too will. Uh, I too look forward to uh, the new season. Uh, Major League, uh, Major League has always been my dream uh, stage, and uh, myself and my family have always been looking forward to uh, for me to play in the Major League. Uh, I played in the I played in the KBO for seven years. Uh. 샌디 오파드레스라는 팀이 어, 정말 좋은 조건을 갖고 좋은 환경에 있는 팀이라는 것이 뭐 가장 어, 저한테는 와닿았고요. 어, 네, 좋은 선수들과 어, 같이 경기를 하고 싶었어요. 어, 샌디 에고 파드레스 gave me the the right fit, uh, the conditions and the environment uh, for me to play in the major league and well it's that's uh, the main reason why I joined the San, San Diego Padres. 내가 어느 포지션에 자신이 있고요. 어 그리고 정말 파드레스가 정말 우승을 할수 있는 팀이라는 걸 알고 있기 때문에 음 그런 부분이 저한테 정말 좀 와닿았고 음, 포지션은 저한테 큰 문제는 안될것 같아요. Uh, I've always played infield ever since I was a kid playing baseball. Um, but the main reason I joined the Padres is that Padres will uh, is a, not only a contender, but will will become the World Series champion this year. I want to be part of a winning team. That's why I joined the San Diego Padres. I can play any play, position in the infield. First and foremost is uh, the Padres winning the World Series, and I would like to contribute significantly to that uh, uh, that winning team. Well, 개인적인 뭐 목표는 내가 잘해서 어. 신인왕을 탈수 있으면은 어, 좋겠다는 그런 바람을 가지고 있어요. Personally, uh, uh, a challenge for me would be uh, my goal is to become the rookie of the year. Hassan, what do you view as your specific role? I know you said you play all over the infield, but is there any spot you you envision yourself playing most, or any spot you're most comfortable? 
그 김하성 선수가 모든 포지션을 갖다가 다할수 있었는데 어떤 포지션을 갖다가 그 본인이 가장 그 기여할 수 있다고 생각합니까? 어 저는 뭐다 자신은 있는데 일단 제가 최고의 베스트로 해야 될 포지션은 이루수라고 생각을 하고요. 네. 아, uh, I'm a I'm an infielder by training and I well, most of my career I, I played infield. Uh, my best position for the Padres would be the second base. Uh, San Diego Padres gave me the the right fit, uh, the conditions and the environment uh, for me to play in the major league. And well, it's that's uh, the main reason why I joined the San San Diego Padres. For, you know, with his group, we were we were very clear that uh, you know we see him as a as a regular player in the major leagues, and you know I, I think from our standpoint, he's a baseball player. You know, I mean that's just the bottom line. He's a he's a guy that you know, obviously he's been on the left side of the infield at shortstop and third base, and that's where most of his uh, his playing time has been. So we see him. You know, I think initially shortstop, second base, third base, getting time at those three spots. Um, but again, I, I think we feel like he could play really anywhere on the field. And we, we clearly, with the investment, we see him as a, a guy that's going to impact our team. And, you know, I think from, from our standpoint, we feel very confident that, uh, that with Jace and, and the group that, uh, you know, playing time-wise, he's going to blend in really nicely with our club. So I think, again, you know, playing all, through, all over the infield spots, but initially short, second, and third uh, will be the areas of focus. And, uh, you know, we, we're, we're, we're super excited to have him on board. So Hassan, um, you mentioned your dream was to play Major League Baseball, but who, who was your inspiration when you were growing up as far as a baseball player, whether it's a Korean born like Sin Chu Chu or, or someone in the U.S.? 김원성 선수 어렸을 때부터 메이저리그에서 뛰는 게 꿈이라고 했는데 그 본인이 가장 존경하는 선수, 좀 존경하는 선수 어렸을 때부터 어그 롤 모델로 삼았던 선수, 뭐, 뭐 추신수 선수 같이 한국 선수가 됐든 어, 미국 선수가 됐든 누구라고 할수 없을까요? 어, 정말 뭐 어릴 때부터 꿈꿨던 건 맞고요. 음, 정말 엄청난 선수들이 많죠. 근데 저는 어, 사실 롤 제가 좀 어린 선수들과 어, 그런 야구하는 선수들한테 어, 롤 모델이 되고 싶다라는 생각을 가지고 어, 야구를 Oh, of course, there are great players both in the major league and KBO and uh, both Korean born and uh, outside of Korea. But I've always thought that I wanted to be a role model for the younger ones, the, the next generation. And that's how I uh, approach baseball for myself. Thank you. And one for uh, one for AJ, if I may as well. Um, AJ, you mentioned, I mean, he's versatility all, all over the infield, but how do you how do you envision sharing his playing time with Jake Cronenworth uh, at second base? And can you envision either one playing a bit more outfield? Yeah, I mean, again, I think, you know, I think part of the, the value of having guys that have, have played up the middle have been shortstops. Um, you know, I think we feel like and we, we talked about this with Hassan when we, when we went through the process is, uh, you know, guys that, that, that can play up the middle, play shortstop, usually can, can slide over and play different spots on the field. We saw that with our team last year with, with guys moving eventually to the outfield and uh, moving all over the infield. I think it's going to be a situation where we get to spring training where we really start to, to dig in more when, when we have everybody on the field and, um, you know, exactly how that's going to play out. But, uh, again, I think we have a lot of confidence that we have players that, uh, you know, that are going to be able to, to, to move around um, you know, and again, it's also going from 60 games to 160 games. You know, we've talked about that as a group a lot here over the last couple of months is, you know, last year was truly a sprint and this year is going back to a marathon and then maybe even a different type of season coming off of, you know, not only playing 60 last year. So uh, we're going to keep our players fresh. We're going to keep them in the infield. Um, and, and as we get into spring training, I think we'll start looking at some of the versatility on those guys, um, you know, to see, um, you know, if anybody else ends up grabbing an outfield glove and trying that. But I think initially with Ha Sung, the focus is going to be on the infield play. And with Chan Ho Park, I guess, I think he's a special assistant in your organization. What sort of scattering report uh, have you gotten from, from Chan Ho on, on Ha Sung Kim? I think everybody's been very, very consistent, I think, in terms of, you know, again, I think what, what Ha Sung, what he did in, in Korea in the KBO, it speaks for itself. You know, it's a guy that you know, at a very young age, he's been as productive as any player in the league uh, from a consistency standpoint and a quality standpoint. 
you know, over, you know, over, over the last five seasons. So Chen Ho obviously was able to express that to us. He, we had a zoom call with, uh, with Ha Sung earlier in the process. Um, and Chen Ho was on the call. So I think it's, uh, it was, to me, it was, it was a, a big part of the process because for Chen Ho to be able to explain to Ha Sung, you know, from firsthand experience, what it's like, what type of organ, you know, what, what things he valued in his process, what it's like making that transition, um, you know, and then for us to hear from Ha Sung. And honestly, I think that call was, uh, I think we felt pretty confident in the player and leaving that call, um, you know, with Chan Ho on it, Jace Tingler on it, Bobby Dickerson on that call. I think we all looked at each other and said, this is a guy we really would like to have here because he came across as uh, very confident, but also somebody that, uh, that, that was very eager to learn and looked like he was going to be a great fit. So Chan Ho participated in the process really the last few years and definitely in the last few months and a few weeks really from a recruiting standpoint. And his evaluation was consistent with our scouts and our, our front office group that uh, feels like he's a, he's a winning major league player and he's going to be a big time contributor for us. Thank you. Oh, Sung, along those lines, did you uh, talk much with Chan Ho yourself before he made this decision since he used to play in San Diego, is now part of the front office, and what did he tell you? Uh, Chan Ho Park is obviously a, a, a ball player who I respect uh, greatly uh, as a Korean ball player. Yes, he did give me some advice. Uh, uh, he played uh, one of the uh, key roles in for me to select in Padres as uh, he told me about um, – their um, their lineup or their 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 contention for the World Series this year, and he also gave me a lot of advice on um, having confidence playing in the U.S. for the first time. Yeah, no, I think there's there's uh, you know obviously there's, there's always adjustments for guys just just breaking into the major leagues, and that's you know uh, you see it all the time for minor league players that have you know grown up their whole lives in the states and are familiar with the system. Um, you know, we've seen it with guys like Mike Trout that have had to be sent back to the minor leagues and things like that. So there, there's always that adjustment period. I think the thing for us, you know, AC Kurogi has, has so much experience uh, overseeing our pack rim department, uh, you know, you know, with, with, you know, all kinds of players, Chan Ho and, and Hideo Nomo, you know, having come over from, uh, from, from, uh, you know, from Japan and Korea uh, being part of it. I think we feel like really confident about the support team and the staff that we have around Ha Sung. I think the fact that we have, a really good, young, fun, talented team that cares about individual players and, you know, appreciates players and their talent. I think that'll help him in the transition. Um, and we have a great coaching staff. You know, I think Bobby Dickerson being on the call with Ha Sung, he's as good at infield coaches as there is in the game. Uh, he loves, you know, he loves players and pushes guys. Jace Tingler uh, has been, been along, you know, through this whole process with Ha Sung. I think because of that, you know, I think uh, we think that his, you know, that transition, he'll have some people along, you know, along, along with, in the Padre organization that'll help him with that transition. And again, I think that's natural, but the biggest thing is he's just a really good player. So good players have a, have a way to, uh, to make adjustments and um, he's going to have to make some. And uh, we're looking forward to that over the course of the next few weeks and months. You know, I think we've had, uh, you know, again, we've had, we have history, I think with, with Ha Sung from a player. I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, we've seen him dating back to really the 18U, the world championship team, um, and then seeing his progression in the KBO. I think one of the things that for us uh, gives a lot of faith is watching his adjustment from his first year in the KBO as a young player. And he talked about this on the Zoom call with us um, where, you know, he had adjusted that level, um, you know, where, where he, you know, uh, you know, was challenged a little bit. Maybe the punch out numbers were a little bit higher than uh you know, that he wanted that first year and then to see his progression each year to get to a point where, you know, last year he walked 75 times, punches out 68, um, you know, and the way he talked about that progression, I think gave us a lot of faith and confidence. So our scouts, um, both in Korea, uh, Hoon Nam Goon, who's over there watching him all the time, um, you know, Trevor Shum, Pete Young overseeing the pro side, um, you know, that group feels like he's got the physical components to make the adjustments, which is bat speed and the ability to recognize pitches. I think we were impressed by hearing his progression through the KBO, you know, from a first year player who was a young player that had to make adjustments and, and, and was able to do that. Um, you know, where we feel like, you know, ultimately he's got the ability to, to make those, uh, you know, to make those adjustments. And I think the more he sees, the better he's going to get. So I think a combination of the scouting side and uh, our people, you know, feeling that they know him as a player and a person and then his track record of making adjustments at the KBO level, I think all of those things uh, give us a lot of faith that um, you know, he's going he's gonna to continue to improve as a player here the next few years. Will we see him in the outfield, maybe 
interested during spring training? It was a, it was a fun part of the process. Was asking Ha Sung if uh, I think Bobby asked him, Dickerson asked him what position he would uh, be, you know, be most excited to play and what would be a position he uh, didn't really want to play. And I think the cool part was he he was very open to anything. He said, "Look, I you know I just want to go win and I want to go help a team." So. Um, I think what we're open to, you know, again, what's going to make our club win a World Series? What's the best combination of players? I don't think it's going to be day one of spring training for, for Ha Sung or, um, you know, a couple of our other guys. I think that's going to be more as we get through through spring training and try to figure out what's the best combo of guys that will we'll look at every possible option and kind of figure that out. But, uh, you know, I think uh, I think originally and I think uh, right out right out of the gate, we see him as an infielder and we're looking forward to uh, to see him in the infield for us here.